I'm Adam. I'm Chester. And this is Where Where There's there's a Williams, Williams, There's a Way. Hey, Chester, have you ever felt like you didn't quite fit in? I'm literally a duck out of water. Good point. Today's book is about a bunny that feels different. Let's get started. Milo the Really Big Bunny by Stephen Krensky, illustrated by Melissa Subin. Milo was a bunny, but he wasn't quick like a bunny or quiet like a bunny. Fun fact, not all bunnies are quiet. I know a girl, Deborah, that's always singing opera. And his tail wasn't fluffy because he sat on it so often. Other bunnies nibbled on carrots and lettuce. They could hop on either foot and dig tunnels from one place to another. Fun fact, a network of interconnected bunny burrows is also called a warren. Can't you save these for the did you know section at the end? More than anything, Milo wished he could do something to fit in better. And then one day, Milo heard about a contest. The Easter Bunny was looking for a helper. No experience was required. The Easter Bunny is the most famous bunny in the whole world, thought Milo. If I become his helper, the other bunnies will be impressed. No one was very encouraging. Don't be ridiculous, Milo. You have to be nimble and quick. You need a delicate touch. You have to fit in small places. But Milo wasn't about to give up. When the contest began, Milo was at the head of the line. He colored some eggs first, but this didn't work out the way he had planned. Then he tried making baskets. Over and under, over and under, he told himself. That didn't work out so well either. Fun fact, the school that I went to had a class called Underwater Basket Weaving. Where was that? Pond University? No, Columbia University. You know, the Ivy League school? When it was time to pick a winner, Milo didn't stand a chance. Milo felt pretty bad after that. As the days passed, he dragged himself around and didn't go out much. On Easter morning, Milo just stayed in bed. He didn't hear the wind pick up or the rain start to fall. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. Wake up, Milo! Someone was shouting. It was the Easter Bunny. I need help, he explained. Milo rushed to gather his eggs and baskets. No, no, not like that, said the Easter Bunny. I need you! Milo and the Easter Bunny struggled long and hard all day. The rain was wetter than wet and the wind was howling something awful. Fun fact, water can't be wetter than wet. That doesn't really sound like a fun fact to me. But finally they were finished. Thanks, said the Easter Bunny. You were a big help, Milo. A very big help. After that, Milo felt a lot better about himself. True, he ate as much as before, his hopping was still unpredictable, and his tail wasn't even a little fluffy, but none of that mattered anymore. Because Milo had found his place at last. What, no fun fact? You didn't seem to be enjoying them. Of course I enjoyed them. I was just enjoying the book more at the time. Fun fact, did you know that people that read more live longer? Is that right? That certainly is fun. I'm Adam. And I'm Chester. And this this is is Where There's There's a Williams, Williams, There's There's a Way. way. Did you know? Fun fact! Americans eat 16 billion jelly beans each Easter, enough to circle the globe three times. Even though that's a huge amount, Peeps are the most popular non-chocolate Easter candy in the country. 700 million of the little marshmallow shapes are eaten every year in the United States. Five million Peeps are made every day year-round in preparation for Easter.